<laughs> right. Okay. I think you got the wrong piece for the wrong person. My name is Mero Becking and I'm a designer. Currently I'm working on Your Brain Manufacturing and Your Brain Manufacturing is a research project in which I am creating a hyper-individualized design object based on the brain activity of just one person, in this case Marcus Fares. And I'm focusing on the relationship that will develop between the person and the final design object. In 2013 I developed brain manufacturing and with brain manufacturing I wanted to develop the perfect product with the help of neuroscientists. So together we developed a research method in which we would put 20 people on MRI scanners and look at how their brain reacts when it comes to certain design choices with respect to shape, colors and materials. And we can see if their brain had a positive or a negative reaction to these uh, shapes, colors and materials. For this project I developed a series of perfect products based on the results of the MRI scans and apparently this group really loves red plastic and closed organic shapes. But after brain manufacturing I was left with some questions because if you would ask people what they like they would say something completely different than what their brain tells us they prefer. So I wanted to find out more about this phenomenon. So with your brain manufacturing, I've put just one person in an MRI scanner. Can you once more check your... Uh, yes. And also the, the little uh, pocket. All you have to do is look. Mm -hmm. That's the only job you have to okay. do. By spending an hour in an fMRI scanner, Marcus Fares actually gave me his formula for perfection, which is orange, plastic, rounded shapes and chairs. So I combined those four ingredients into a big orange plastic chair. Last April I went to his home and I placed this chair in his living room. It's so like 1960s. It is. It's, as you can see, plastic, round, and orange. It's very, very orange. Very orange, yes. <laughs> and chair, that was also your, uh, what you reacted to. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, after the first shock, I actually quite like it. Well, placing the chair in his living room marked the second part of the research project because now I want to find out how he relates to this object. He has to live with it for several months. <laughs> Does he form a bond with it? Does he like it in the first instance? Maybe he will grow to like it. Maybe he will grow to dislike it. How was his relationship with this object that his subconscious would prefer, but his conscious would feel differently about? I like it much more than I thought I would. Yeah, that's good. And I'm yeah. glad it's not red. <laughs> okay. Cool. Not that I don't like red, but it would have been like, oh right, so everyone likes red. After a couple of months, I want to know how his brain feels about the object. So Marcus is going to be put back in an MRI scanner and I want to see how his brain reacts to the final object, which he lived with several months now, and how does his subconscious feel about it instead of his conscious again, which I will know after my design anthropology research. I don't think it's a large part of my subconscious, but it might be a small part of it. There might be, yeah. that might be in there somewhere oh. in some dark corner. <laughs> we could definitely, definitely see that your brain re responded in a, the most positive way to these... To orange? To orange. Really? Yeah.